Hi, Wendy Christine here from RaspberryLaneCrafts.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make this block. It's in the Chinese Lantern Collection and this one is called Chinese Lantern Fortune. It's a 12 inch block and the pattern is available at RaspberryLaneCrafts.com. These are all the pattern pieces. This is, this is the top section of the Chinese Lantern Fortune. I've drawn the two diagonal lines on my one and a half inch squares on the four and a half inch by one and a half inch strip and I'm going to sew along those lines. Here I've just cut off the edges and I'm going to fold it back and iron them. I'm still on the top section of the Chinese Lantern Fortune and that's what it looks like so far. And our pieces are just getting bigger. On the gold strip you're going to put the two little squares of background. Ah, the diagonal. Diagonal lines. And so those on. I sewed along here and I cut the corners off and now I'm going to bend them back and iron them back. I've sat on the two outside blocks. That completes the top section. Beginning the lantern portion, this is the light green and this is the next color green. I've placed two of the one and a half inch squares on the edges and drawn the diagonal lines. I'm going to do two at a time and then I'll do this corner and sew them. So I've sewn it and I've trimmed the edges. Now I'm going to iron it and do the other two corners. I have flipped that piece and I've put the next ones on the corners and marked them and now I'm going to sew it.
corners. And these are two bunnies in my front yard. The other day I counted eight. Actually, can you count all the bunnies in this shot? There's one, two, three. I just saw five. There's one way over there by the, yeah, by that other chair. And then there's one right there. So there's six bunnies. <laughs> Here's the first part of the lantern section. Here I've just lined up all of the strips and I've marked all the diagonals on the one and a half inch squares. And now it's just an assembly line of sewing. All the corners of the lantern section have been sewn on and now I'm just going to sew together all the strips. The completed lantern section. I just completed the base section, which was nothing really complicated, just piecing together all the strips and a couple of the big squares. So this is what it looks like right before I'm going to sew the final two pieces. This is the completed Chinese lantern fortune without the optional symbol on it, which I'm going to do next. Here it is on the light board, all lit up. Here I'm showing you that I've traced the Chinese fortune symbol on the fusible interfacing and I put the fusible on the fabric. So next I'm going to cut it out and then tear off the paper and put it on my block. I'm going to attempt to show you how I start cutting the inside of these pieces because my camera experience is not that good. So what I did and hopefully I get it this time is I bend this and I cut a little chunk out of the middle and then I can go ahead and cut the middles out really easily. These are the cutout pieces which I'm going to take the paper off of now and place on the lantern. You just make sure the sticky paper side sticks to the fabric. You pull it, pull it off. And here's my placement. I just looked at my diagram and I placed this first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And I like where that is on the lantern. And I'm going to iron it now. This last step I'm going to show you is optional. And I'm going to make just a fringe look on the bottom of the lantern. And I'm just showing you that I'm drawing the lines here. And then I'm going to sew a couple lines in black called thread painting. I've placed a small piece of fabric stabilizer under here about two inches by six inches. It's going to make it more stable when I sew back and forth. And I'm going to reverse 
reverse it. So I did three lines and that's what it's going to look like. Just a really bold black line. This is the Chinese lantern fortune with the French on the bottom. And here is another block in the Chinese lantern collection. This is Chinese lantern longevity. The pattern is available at raspberrylanecrafts.com.